Hi, and welcome to this short video in which we're going to explain how to use load generators using uh, cloud machines. Uh, that would be Amazon, Google, Azure, those kind of things. So uh, keep watching if that's what you want to see. Uh, Webload is a load testing tool, as you know. Uh, so you have some kind of a system under test that you want to test. And you have your machine where you have Webload installed. And Webload would run as many users as you want uh, to to simulate how the system behaves under load. Now, your system may have more than one server. It may have a strong uh, capacity and your own laptop or the whatever machine that you're using may not be enough to generate, uh, to have enough power to generate the amount of users you want in order to simulate uh, what your system looks like under reload. So you may need more horsepower. And in Webload, we call these load generators. So you can add, if you have other machines, you can stack up more machines in your environment against the system if you want to test, and then you will have enough horsepower to generate the load that you want. So that's one option. Uh, these load generators are basically extra machines that you have. Uh, maybe you have them, or maybe you, you need to buy them in your own environment, and you install Webload on them, and you can use them. And that's one approach. Uh, but sometimes you don't want to buy a new machine just for that single test. Uh, so the other approach we have is we can use cloud load generators. And when you're using cloud, uh, basically you're just uh, using one of the cloud providers, Amazon, for example. And Amazon would, would uh, create a machine for you. And you, this you can create more than them more than one, and you can also use other cloud vendors like uh, Azure and Google P Cloud Platform. Uh, so uh, um, Webload has a very tight integration with all those cloud vendors, and it's a direct integration. It means that it doesn't cost you anything in terms of your Webload license. This is something that you do directly uh, with your cloud provider, which, which is unique to the way Webload works. Um, and that's it, you just pay whatever your consumption is directly to the cloud vendor. Okay, so now let me show you how it looks like in Webload. So this is the Webload console, is where we execute tests. So I'm just going to create a simple test. I'm going to select my script. So this is going to be my script. And here is the page where I need to select which are the load generators the hosts are going to actually run the load. So currently I have my own local host machine, uh, which is fine for low load, but the more I want load, I need more machines. So the other approach is here to add more hosts by name or IP address. So these would be some other servers that they have locally. So that's gonna be my LG1. So there's some machine that it's called my LG1 on my, inter on my network. And I'm going to say that this would also participate in the load. So that, that's the regular load generator. But now if I want to use cloud load generators, then I'm going to use this thing, add cloud host. And what this would do, it would ask me, all right, so now you need to configure your cloud credentials. And this is what it looks like. So cloud account, I would click add. And now it would say, all right, which kind of cloud it's going to be. It's going to be Azure or cloud or AWS. Let me do AWS for now. All right, and now we're going to ask you uh, what is this uh, cloud? You can add several and then name them differently. So uh, this would be, um, let's say this is actually AWS, and I'm going to use um, US West 2. So I'm going to call it AWS US West 2. And then I can create several different accounts and I can see. Uh, which one is it uh, later when I select them? So defining a cloud is basically using your access key and secret key. Those are your username and password basically for the Amazon API. Um, if you don't have an Amazon account, then that, that's the time to do it. You can Google it or go to aws.amazon.com, create an account, uh, set it up, and it would give you the access key and secret, uh, secret key. Those are basically your username and password. So you would need that if you want to do that cloud. And then we would ask you which region, which is the geographic locations you want to, to have your test. So you the cloud load generators created. So that would be that. And the instant type, how big or small you want them. Um, 
So again, the larger the machine, the bigger, the, the more horsepower it would be. So you can decide to have bigger machines or more machines depending on your needs. And then there are, that's basically enough to get started. That would create a machine, uh, the machines for you. Uh, but there's there are a few advanced options you can use to set up, for example, VPC if you need. It's a private network or special permissions, elastic IP addresses. There's a bunch of other settings that you can do from here. And now this is just defining the account, so it doesn't really create any machines yet. It's just the definition. Uh, so what you can do also, you can click your get status. It's going to say uh, no instances running, or it's going to tell you how many machines are currently running that are related to web load. And now back to the host computer, I can select how many of these type machines I want. So I can select three. Again, nothing is really created now. It's just going to be a template of a machine that they can use later. So let's say I'm going to add three. Now in my selection, I have three of these AWS US West machines. And I can add more other types. I can do um, Google, whatever regions they have. And once you have this is a template that you can use. So instead of this local generator, I can replace that and instead use this cloud load generator now. Uh, so I'm going to do that, or, and I can select two of them. Again, this is just a template of a, a machine. And when the test would start, this is when, so this test says that it needs two of these tests. So when the test would start, it will actually run them. Now this is just a regular uh, web load uh, definition. How many users I'm going to run? So I'm going to do a ramp up, start with one user, and run 20 user, and I'm going to do it over half an hour ramp up and steady state, right. Okay, so now uh, my test is ready to run. And I can save the template and that template, basically every time it would start, it would spin up those uh, two machines. Uh, and every time you stop, it would uh, stop it. So now, now let me actually start the test. Let me do start session. Now it would actually start the machines for me. Right, okay, so now I can see that, uh, that my test is running and it's using my cloud load generators. And if I switch to my Amazon console, I can see those machines. So this is my Amazon console and I can see those two running instances running for me. Okay, now let me stop the test. Now we're able to tell me, do you want to terminate those machines? I'm going to say yes, so I don't stop paying for those machines that they have started. I'm going to click yes. And the machines are now shutting down. Let me switch back to Amazon. And we can see here, let's refresh. So yeah, those machines are now shutting down. And now they're completely terminated. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And you can watch other YouTube videos that we have about Webload. Thank you. Bye-bye.